Well, we're back in Los Angeles screwing around again. Yes. And once again, we found something very, 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 very interesting while we were screwing around. It's kind of a touristy place, but what the heck. Yes. That's right, Raman's Chinese Theater. <laughs> One of my favorite places. <laughs> I've never been to a movie here, so I bagged us some movie tickets. They were doing a special screen of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Oh, cool! So, of course, we have to walk around and look at the cement footprints and stuff. It's a little known fact that cement was invented by Augustus Orange Julius in the 15th century BC. Oh, serious? You serious? And, and the whole of Rome was made out of concrete. And since then, people have been sticking their hands, feet, nose, everything in wet cement. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> but what a beautiful, beautiful old theater with a rich history, premieres, and all the movie stars that have been here. And it's really neat that they signed the place while they were here so that we know that they were actually here. We were over at Charlie Chaplin's studio just before this and he had put his footprints and signature in the cement at his studio. And I just wonder if that's where they got the idea over here. I suppose in large part because it's right on the corner of Highland and Hollywood Boulevard, all of the big movie studios did their premieres here. And then that gave a chance for Sid Grauman to con the actors into sticking their hands and feet and names into the cement in front of the theater while they were attending their premieres. This is one of the most impressive movie theaters in all of Hollywood. Sid Grauman liked to theme his theaters. He had this theater under the Chinese theme and right across the street, the Egyptian theater, done to look like an Egyptian city of some kind. But how neat it is that they're built sort of like a theme park before there were theme parks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I almost lived here for a while. Really? Yeah, when I was at Sun Classic Pictures, they would put us up in the Holiday Inn right behind here. But back then, the neighborhood really was going downhill. I mean, after all, I lived there. Oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> so Los Angeles decided to uh, drop some coinage and fix the area up. Great. This is the new subway station mm. right underneath Hollywood Boulevard there at the Grauman's Theater. They also remodeled the whole theater area, fortunately without touching the theater, but they built this, the Elephant Plaza, alongside the theater because this had been the set for an old silent movie, one of the very first feature films ever made in Hollywood. Probably the second feature film ever made in Hollywood, Intolerance by D.W. Griffith. And this huge, massive set was built right here, right where Grauman's Chinese is. And so they built the Elephant Plaza next to the theater to commemorate this incredible movie set. Can you imagine the thousands of people he had to hire? And how do you give direction to 20,000 actors? <laughs> uh, I don't know. A Herculean task making a movie like this, but he did it. Of course, the movie bombed. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Here is the set as it was being built. I found some construction photographs. Is that amazing That's or amazing. What? Of course, it looks good from one side. It doesn't look like anything at all from the other side. But because the movie bombed, well, they didn't have any money to strike the set, so they just left it there. <laughs> and people would play on it. You know, kids would come around and tourists would come and get selfies in front of it. Did they do selfies back then? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> But gradually, Hollywood was just building up all around it, and pretty soon, there were actually subdivisions being built all around this set. And uh, the city of Los Angeles knew they had to do something with it, so at their own expense, they finally tore it down. And now, at their own expense, they put it back. <laughs> But that's just really neat. What a magnificent homage to this movie set that once stood here. This is sure a fun place to visit. It is. Another thing they built here was the Kodak Theater. Nice. And this is to be the permanent home of the Academy Awards. They just had the Academy Awards. That's here. right. Yeah, Green Book kind of mm -hmm. cleaned up. 
So when it's not being used for the Academy Awards, which is almost always, it's sort of a shopping mall. And it has this long stairway leading up to the actual theater meant to represent this stairway from the Intolerance set. So even that is an homage to Intolerance. This is the Kodak Theater. Isn't that, that something? That is just beautiful. Wow. We should go to the Academy Awards. We should. <laughs> like that would ever happen. I think it's $1,000 a seat and you can't get tickets. But such rich history. You know, Star Wars premiered here? Right. There it is right there. But all of these great films that have premiered here, one of my favorites, Blazing Saddles. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of random, but I love that movie. And... The Walk of Fame. Yes. Now it kind of surrounds all around the theater here in Hollywood, but I thought I'd throw a couple of shots in here of the stars on the Walk of Fame. The next time we're there, let's look for the stars of Geraldine Farrar. She was your... Uh, she's a distant relative of my grandpa Farrar. Yeah, and she has two stars. Yes. Not a lot of people have two stars. She does. So we should go s seek those out and we hunt will. them down. Absolutely. Well, our movie's starting in about 20 minutes. I guess we should start moseying in that seat. Blazing Saddles has got me in that moseying Mosing mood. In, yes. Anyway, let's mosey on into the theater. Right. And find our seats for 2001, A Space Odyssey. Of course, we're going to need popcorn and sodas. Absolutely. I want a Diet Coke. <laughs> uh, hot dogs? You want a hot dog? Uh, popcorn. Popcorn only. Okay. Check out the interior here. It is so oh, darn amazing. ornate. And fortunately, it's all just been preserved. It never got ripped up, changed, altered, or screwed up. It's just been like this and carefully preserved since the day it was built. One of the things that just really strikes you when you go into the theater itself is it's huge. No kidding. And that's probably another reason why they had so many premieres here. Uh, it isn't something that you think about when you think about Grauman's Chinese, but it must seat a couple of thousand people. It is just gigantic inside. And just so darn ornate. Beautiful. Wow. Another tradition is crazy people hanging out in front of the theater. I'll say. Oh. <laughs> in costumes. <laughs> yes. This has been going on for a long time. So you have to get a picture with them and then they charge you five bucks. Exactly. <laughs> but that's how they make their living. What the heck? Let's have some fun with that. Yay! Yay! Hey, we need a star too. We do too, yes. Thank you. One for you. One for you. One for you too. There you go. Oh, do you want to run?